again everyone it's Shannon from Sam's Garage another vlog and uh, another final rig that we're looking at from Ben a good mate here and I know another one of your addictions mate is not just the scale rig but something to get towed with the scale rig and this one's a pretty good example yeah look Adding a trailer to your scale experience really is recommended. It really provides a whole different aspect to driving them and the way that you view um, getting out on the trail. Uh, this wasn't the first trailer I ever made, but it was certainly my first styrene based trailer. And it evolved after seeing another example on a, on a, from a builder on Scale Builders Guild. Mm -hmm. and I took that and ran with it and developed my own concept and ideas from it and um, this then you know turned out to be somewhat of quite a popular <laughs> result across the internet and Facebook land yeah um, so there's lots of details on this but in essence it's a box with some you know fenders added to it and a wider floor and then the ability to then just add the detail to it to bring it to life and that realism. You know, things like this is just scale checker plate, just bent to shape around a scale item. You can do this yourself at home, people. It's not that hard to do. Um, you know, and again, the styrene box with just some checker plate on it just adds that sort of realism. Um, in Australia, I think in overseas as well, a lot of our rigs have these stone deflectors on them so that the tow vehicle doesn't scatter and you know mark it up unnecessarily. And this is just some mesh from a, a, a container I found in a local stationery store and then I, it's then all braised together using coat hanger wire as the main shape. Again, common found materials that you can turn into something to use in uh, your scale work. And it's gone through a couple of stages as well. It didn't always look like this. You had it just as the the low camper to start with. Correct, yeah. you're correct, yeah. It, mm. That's so true. Um, I mean, if we look at this now from the other side, you know, this was originally, and this just lifts off without the bar work. So I mean, these bars weren't here and it was just this cage with different items inside it. And then I elected, I always wanted to do a, a scaled you know, trailer tent on the top. Look, it's not functional, but it gives that appearance of, of having that travel and camping ability. This stuff is just made from styrene uh, square tube, but reinforced as much like a real one would. It's actually quite strong. Um, not that you'd expect this to be tumbling down a hill because you'd be avoiding that particular scenario. Other special items that I built into it originally are there's an actual like metal slider under the back of each side because the, the back end does get dragged over rocks when you're driving it and I wanted to protect the styrene a little bit. You know, some fake covers for the lights and things. Look, the drawers aren't real, but hey, it looks like it, they actually do pull out. Yeah. Um, I can't take the lid off, but if you, you, this actually just lifts off, and then inside it's just an open space. So you could use it as a box trailer at some point as well. Shall Lots we have a look? Goodies on the top. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, and you can find this stuff all over the place. This is a mint container. This is a special board item from one of a Chinese seller. We've got little containers found at Woolworths. Um, these white containers are craft storage things for beads. And this I found at a stationery store for kids to put like rubber bands and stuff in. You know, a thumb skateboard and one of those bicycles which are the same sort of thing. Yep. Now in terms of suspension for this rig, I think we can do this. It actually has leaf springs, um, which I then made my own custom um, shackles for. The axle is made up of a 10 mil alloy tube with a small drill out to 8 mil to accept some bearings in each side, and it actually uses Yota 2 stub axles inside there um, to actually you know, give that and some small lock nuts or grub screws to hold the bearings in place so the axle stays. And look, it squeaks. Um, so you get a reasonable action um, when you're rolling and not much, you know. And of course, you know, it moves and bounces along um, as you'd hope a trailer would. 
and um, provides a bit of bounce when you're driving. Very nice. Um, you know, the wheels are from, again, Locked Up RC. Um, I happen to have them laying around, but you could use anything, you know, for the wheels as long as it's appropriate. I wanted a smaller tyre slightly than the tow rig, so it's a 95 mil tyre, and um, it just looks appropriate against the vehicles that are pulling it along. Excellent. So, I just want to say thanks for showing us all your rigs, and uh, as you might have heard in a previous video, today was day one of the Cairns Nats, so we're hoping that Ben's in the finals tomorrow. So thanks a lot, mate. You're welcome, Shannon. <laughs>